All right, welcome to your Chicken Hawk Farm Shed. Today, we've got a box. In that box, it's gonna be, I believe it's called a foundry, a foundry. Here's the thing about some metal. Uh, bought this off of Amazon, I think it was like 150, 160. Got a couple little uh, graphite crucibles. And like I said, this is gonna be an unboxing. And if I got time, might be able to fire this up because I got a lot of aluminum cans I've been collecting. And I want to take them from a big old whole bag to a little bitty block. Yeah. So let's check it out and see what's in here. Okay. I will say the packaging seems to be really well. You got it there. Got all this foam on top. Hopefully this is the top. Let me flip it over and see about dumping it out. That way. Yeah, maybe. I ain't trying to break anything right off the bat, you know? Alright. There we go. We got it dumped out. Uh, let me back you up a little bit or lower you down. Alright, I'll just have to squat down some. Oh, right out of the box. We got our grabbing tongs uh I feel like maybe they're cast iron or something I mean they're yeah so we got those you can see uh the unit itself it's like plenty of uh padding here keep it from hopefully getting broke on the way our top insulation I'm guessing more padding the top piece Padding, more padding. Well, let's hope this thing's not broken then. Uh, there we go. I forgot what these things were called, but it's the thing you put all your metal in. Crucible? Yeah, crucible. Uh, <laughs> so, as you can tell, I am definitely a beginner. So, here's our crucible it comes with. We had a few chips. It's in pretty good shape. Please don't drop that. Nice size uh, hole at the top. Because I looked at an electric one instead of a propane. The problem was they were all a lot smaller than I wanted. Cause a lot of what, what I'm wanting to do is uh, with aluminum. Smelting down the aluminum, uh, using it for general castings or maybe even the cell. I've seen a lot of people sell it online because other people use it for art and different things that they do casting for, but they don't want to go the process of actually melting down the, the cans. They just want to do their part. So, anywho, we got that. So we got our tongs. We are our main component here. There's our funnel, our nose piece, whatever it's called. Hooks up to the propane tank. And should be a regulator in here. I haven't seen it yet. Nothing in there, nothing in there. And yes, there's more in the box, I believe. There it is. So we do have a regulator. This will hook to here and this will hook to the propane tank. And look at that. They even gave us some Teflon tape. Got our nozzle uh, screw piece. Looks like that might be an extra one in case you lose this one. Or it might be a gapping size thing. Okay. So I guess you can increase or decrease the amount of airflow. Cool. That I really don't know much. We're just kind of checking this out. And we're gonna do it and see what happens. What's the worst gonna happen, right? Blows up in your face and you die or mess you all up. But you gotta live. So check that out of there. Cool little feet. Awesome. And you can see this thing's got quite a bit of insulation in there. The fire, I don't remember what the stuff's called. Let me know if you know what that's called. Uh, this kind of this fireproof insulation. I forgot what it is. But anyways, uh, we'll put all this stuff together, and we'll see if we can get this uh, fired up here shortly. And if I can't, this will be the end of the video. If I can't get that done today, if I can, we'll be right back with it uh, firing up. So if you don't see another part, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because we'll be firing this up very soon, no matter what. All right, I'm back, and hopefully we're gonna get this uh, forge 
propane melting forge kit set up and put to work I did go ahead and actually read the instructions because whenever there's something that can kill or seriously injure me don't mind reading the instructions so got my gloves these safety glasses I got some clear ones if these are gonna be too dark for me uh, I went ahead and like I said read through this you know one of the important notes that it does say is wherever it is that you want to preheat your crucible because you want to get all the moisture out of it which makes sense because you don't want to put have molten molten metal and water combining yeah that just seems like a bad idea uh, I know it can kind of make like a steam explosion and throw molten metal around so another reason for the gloves these are uh, like thick welding gloves I'm assuming they they'll work um, yeah so I'm gonna get this put together like I said oh yeah as far as preheating it and you're getting all the moisture out I said basically bring it up to about 500 degrees uh, then kind of work it which I guess move it around to get it kind of red hot let it cool down and that kind of just evaporates all the water out of it and then we'll get it going and go from there but uh, I'll do a little uh, speed stuff put this together hopefully it's not that hard like I said it's only about a eight part instructions there and uh, should be pretty simple so let's see how it goes and I'm gonna follow the instructions on this one and as far as parts list we went over earlier there's a view of all the parts and pieces you get and that little ring it is fire brick and as far as I know it's for sitting on top of it to make that opening on the top smaller to keep more heat in yeah if I'm wrong let someone let me know but that's what I'm gonna use it for so anyways we get to it I'll be right back gloves and you're lighting it so we're gonna light it let's get our lighter here and I might yeah I guess I should put that with my gloves on I got both of them on we'll turn on our gas and then we got to turn on regulator Do have the window open in case anybody's curious. I'm gonna let that air out because there's a lot of gas in here there. Shout out to get.
rides about almost 300. The outside of that thing, looking at like 70. I'm gonna see if I can get a reading from the crucible itself. Okay, that's at the bottom of the crucible, if you can read it there. It was like 614. So it's around 600 degrees the crucible is right now. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it down, let it cool down, and then we'll refire it back up so we can uh, mount our aluminum.
interesting. Uh, we did the two pool bags, uh, aluminum cans. Can't believe that pour turned out well. It's a lot harder and a lot more effort to hold onto those. And these things are very hot. So, uh, yeah, I didn't realize how hot they were. Like all the way up to the handle, so definitely gloves. Let's see if we can get a reading real quick. Okay, this part's about 90. Little cross section right there, 115. And the tips are to 250. So, <laughs> you ain't doing this without gloves. Uh, I got more in there, so I'm going to have to reheat that. And we'll get two more pours. I don't know how long I need to leave them in there before I dump them out. I guess that's something I should look at a little more. And I definitely need like a some kind of steel spoon or something to get all that sludge out. I mean, you saw there's quite a bit there. But so far, great attempt. Keep on trucking. Uh, see if this thing is done. I got a metal bucket thing full of water. We'll throw it in there and see what happens.
All right, well, as you can see, that was pretty successful. Uh, everything was there except for what I have to get, gloves. I got something to scrape it with. I had to buy my own uh, uh, molds and a lighter propane tank. But yeah, that kit was pretty much complete. I'll put a link to it below. I think this one looks, I mean, it's as good as any of the other ones, I'd say. I think it's a five kilogram crucible it goes it is or something. So that is what it is. But uh, yeah, so everything worked out great. Uh, I'll show you some pictures here in a second of the pieces and they actually turned out pretty beautiful, I think. So like, share, and subscribe. Hopefully I'll get to do some more of this. I got plenty of cans. I got to melt down. I even got some copper I'm going to work on. But I'll probably end up getting another crucible. One for aluminum, one for copper. Just kind of keep this up separate for now. So, all right, let's check out those uh, ingots. I think they are. All right, so here's our ingots. And they are still probably pretty warm. I don't know if I'll be able to handle them yet. I'll have to check the temperature in a second. There's one. Uh, this was the one made of leftover. Kind of did a double pour in it because that one's going to be remelted down to make a full one eventually. And last but not least, here's the other one. And I love the little muffin bread, like the muffin shape. All right, that's it. Have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.